Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords, and this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is a card of someone who is showing up as analytical. This is someone who is um, looking at the situation very objectively. They're being logical with how they're dealing with something, um, you know, putting aside emotion so that they can try to get that objective perspective. Um, this can also be someone who wants to be direct. They want to be blunt. So they want, it's a bit of a no-nonsense energy with the Queen of Swords. Um, she can also be quite detached. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords, Air Energy, the Ten of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Page of Cups, Water Energy. Okay, so this is an energy of someone who wants to speak their mind to you. They, they, this is someone who wants clarity. They want that transparency. They're looking at you as someone that they are willing to commit to, someone who they are interested in pursuing romantically um but they want to make sure that you guys are on the same page because this person is wanting the ten of pentacles they want something serious they want something long term they want stability they want it all and they are wanting to make sure that you want the same thing so they may initiate communication about feelings but it's like they're doing it in a very uh logical way a very matter of fact type of way it's like they just want this blunt transparency when it comes to the situation it's like they want to know where you stand your thoughts on the situation. So let's clarify these card stories. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is someone who is um, actually feeling quite connected to you. Um, they really see this connection going somewhere. They believe in it, um, but they, they, they want to make sure that you guys are on the same page. Um, so they may be wanting you to open up first. There's this desire to get your truth from, um, you know, while they're showing up as a Queen of Swords. They may want you to be more emotionally honest with them, emotionally expressive so that they can see if you guys are on the same page here. Yeah, they may want to have some sort of a heart to heart. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Tower, Mars Energy, the Eight of Cups, Water Energy, and the Four of Swords, Air Energy. Okay, so with the tower, it's quite an unexpected turn of events here. It looks like something could, uh, you know, it's like this person is trying to get something from you that they're not giving in the moment. And it, this can lead to some sort of a clash because with the tower being here, it's like it could result in some sort of disruption or an argument or um, like, you know, because it, it's ultimately it's leading towards someone walking away you know, from the situation. And this can be just to cool down with the Eight of Cups being next to the Four of Swords. It's like it's leading towards a break. So it's like this person, they may approach this, you know, they're coming from a good place, but the way they approach it may be, uh, it may not be received the way they want it to. And it does look like it may, you know, if you guys aren't careful, it could lead to, into an argument that leads to someone taking a time out from the connection. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Taurus. Okay, 
Okay, so we have take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. So if things get heated, it is advisable to take a break, take a breather. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you. Okay, so we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So there could be a break here. Okay, so I'm going to plot another card for you. Okay, so we have determination and creative achievements. You can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. Okay, so it does look like it could be, it's like something is happening in an unexpected way here, but ultimately it doesn't look like a permanent break. It's like just temporary setback or um, separation. Okay, so I'm going to pull out the card for your advice, Taurus. So we have surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. I hope you have a really, really good day, Taurus. Bye, Taurus.